Welcome to Telling Time with Clepsedras, marking the passage of time with water clocks. What is a clepsedra? A clepsedra is also known as a water clock, an instrument designed to measure time by the fall or flow of a quantity of water. A clepsedra shows the passage of time, and it was the first device that didn't depend upon the sun or celestial bodies to calculate time. The first known clepsedra was found in a tomb of an ancient Egyptian king known to have been buried around 1500 BCE. There are two basic types of clepsedras or water clocks. The first is an outflow. In an outflow clock, the water flows from one container into another. As the water slowly drains, it shows the passage of time. An inflow clock is very similar except the passage of time is calculated by the rise of the water level in a container. Over time, the water clock became more advanced and included gears and special mechanisms that increased its accuracy. Before the advent of the pendulum clock, the water clock was the most accurate timepiece used. Let's think about it. Instrument. The clepsedra, or water clock, is an instrument, or vessel or device, that measures time. Water. A chamber or section of the clepsedra holds water that flows from one portion into the other at a predetermined rate. Quantity of water. The amount of time that the clepsedra measures is based on the quantity or amount of water that flows through the device. Are you ready to make your own clepsedra? Let's get started. First, let's organize our supplies. You will need two bottles connector caps with small straws, a funnel, special tape, water, a bowl, and a timer. Now that you have organized your materials, it's time to build the clepsedra. Set one of the bottles on a flat surface. Place the funnel in the top opening of the bottle. Ask a friend to hold the bottle steady while you slowly and carefully Pour enough water through the funnel to reach almost to the top of the bottle. Attach the connector securely, first attach to the bottom, and then twist the top bottle into the connector. Ask a friend to help you seal the connectors with the special tape. Take care to stretch the tape as you go, so it will form a watertight seal as shown in the picture. First. Place a piece of tape around the middle where the bottle tops are connected. Then put a piece around the section where the cap meets on each bottle. Let's check the timing. Now that your clepsedra is complete and your seal is tight, it is time to see how it works. Take your clepsedra and place it inside a bowl. The bowl will help catch any water should your device leak. Set the clepsedra and bowl on a flat surface. Set your timer to zero. Flip your clepsedra over and start your timer. How long does it take for all of the water to go from the top bottle into the bottom? Test your clepsedra a few times to make sure that it is working consistently. Have fun and experiment with your clepsedra. If you want to shorten the amount of time it measures, what do you think you should do? What should you do to lengthen the amount of time that it measures? As you think about these questions, consider how the size of the bottles, length and width of the straws, and amount of water you use might change the outcome. Most of all, have fun with your new water clock. And stop by and visit us at the American Clock and Watch Museum. We'd love to show you our clipsedras.